It's yet another episode of the POV podcast. Of course, we're here at Twiva Studios doing this amazing job. And guess what? You can come here and do something just as amazing as we are. The guest I have today on the episode. I don't know how many times I have seen him on my TikTok page. Mara niko 3 a.m. sijui nafanya nini TikTok. The guy goes like, "What's he squeezy? Mjangalie siku safe, unaona?" He calls himself the truth watchdog, but I've discovered his real name, and it was Anthony. Yes, Anthony McLeod is my real name. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You know, choosing the name dog is a, it's not the most alluring of names. Kwani umechagua watchdog? Uh, okay, truth watchdog. is just like a father son and holy spirit. Okay. Okay? Because it's three in one. Truth, watch, and then the dog. Now, if you explain my name, mm. truth is at ease. Mm. Plainly, it's ugly. It's mm. never good, it's never sweet. Yes. So that's what I stand for. Mm-hmm. Then watch represents two words. Mm. The watch time mm-hmm. and then of course observation. To look out for people. Y- yes. Mm-hmm. So when I observe, I do not have time to waste. So mm. I tell people on time. Yeah. Then dog is actually the friendly aspect of it oh. because the most friendly animal since then mm-hmm. to the human and mm-hmm. protective mm-hmm. is a dog that's true so it might not be the most alluring mm-hmm. but the most needed that's true yeah. you say a man's best friend is a dog do you have a dog by the way right now i have a cat you have a bana aje the closest lion that i can have is a cat <laughs> I don't have a dog because where I live mm. it cannot accommodate. Okay. Na pia kuna zile regulations za nema nyinyi watu mnashinda mkiweka pets kwa flats kwa kabal kodi kenyu. Hey. Saka tata kujia I don't know what you're going to do. And there's something I like about uh Truth Watch Dog is that you're so you're so focused on helping the society in in such a beautiful way. The first time I saw his TikTok, he was giving out ways on how to lose weight. I didn't follow it clearly, but I'll say this, it was very educational. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you where do you find this urge to really constantly want to help people on social media because most of your posts are always aim as a look out or oh, eat this. You're always looking out for where does this come from? Uh okay, I think it's just a push that came. Mm. as an observation yeah. because i was like uh, everybody is just for themselves so much mm. we hating so much nobody showing love and if it is love it's hypocritical i thought why don't i just be maybe an example i might not solve for the problems mm-hmm. but i might try yes so just set an example mm. maybe somebody else will pick up and the other and the other mm-hmm. so that's why i just decided and then also furthermore i never got a chance to be taken care of by my mom mm-hmm. uh But along the way so many women right now I call mothers. Oh wow. Because like I was dumped but then I was picked. Every time it's just a progress, a progress. Mm. Mm. You find a good person. I was breastfed by my shosh. Yes. Okay, not your own mother. Not my own mom. Okay. She left when I was three months. And then from my shosh to mm. my aunt, mm. then my aunt threw me to the streets. Mm-hmm. Now from there that's when the blessing started actually. Let me ask, do you know why she left? Maybe from the stories. And what was uh, the story that was told? Uh the story sometimes it confuses mm-hmm. because uh, my dad don't talk about it and yeah. he never likes me to bring up the matter. But with my brother he says that uh, there was a fight. Mm. My mom used to prepare the local brew. Okay. Changa. Alikuwa anapika changa. Yes. Alikuwa anapikia wapi? For my shosh. Alikuwa anapikia wapi? Alikuwa anapikia ushago. Kamega. Kia maiko. Kakamega. Kakamega. Oh, ni kwa sababu ya Michael ngoni hapa tu. And since she was introduced to this art she did not know. Mm. But the moment she learned she became even much more better and creative. Mm. Including testing and stuff and my uh, my father was not for that. Mm. So it brought about some fights. Mm. And uh I remember the last time I was told this is my mother is the one actually who beat my father. Oh. Though they tried to sugar coat like a... my father is. Always the same mom madam Kelly for guy. Like in your <laughs> <laughs> According to the story. Yeah. So, I think from that she left mm. with my twin sister. I have a sister who is a twin whom by the way I've never seen. Today. But she's a twin, she probably looks like you. So. Hopefully she's I'm a fratano. <laughs> For a woman to look like me. Oh, anyway. Itakuwa hard. Itakuwa ngumu kuinja. So, when she left that's how it happened between the two. Yeah. I think it was just quarrel and then of course on a job of kitambo kwa so much of physical. Mm. I think mama alikuwa too fed up na dad mm-hmm. and then she left. But the story is uh trying to see to make my dad a saint. Mm-hmm. So I chose not to side with anyone. Okay. You are parents whatever you messed up with. That's your story. It's your business. For I like me, that. Both of all are my parents. I like that but I can imagine as 
a young Anthony growing up and and having to change moms you know you have this mom picks you up this other mom picks you up how does it feel not knowing that she's alive and you guys never really came together okay I didn't feel anything Mm. at first because you know I was very little Mm. and I was brought up by my by the big up on herself Philip Mm McLeod Buddha no, no, my brother. Oh, your brother. He was, uh, I think he was three when I was three months. Oh. And through him, mm-hmm. he's the one who was uh, at least up to the age of six. Mm. He was the one who was always there for me. Wow. Because my dad... So a very small baby. Yep. He fell into depression. Mm-hmm. And then now the very thing he was fighting, the alcohol, mm-hmm. became the very closest friend to my dad. He could even go out like completely. Mm. So soon himself. Mm. It was that bad. Mm. But now my brother is the one who stepped up. He, used, he learned to cook porridge when he was three, I think. So I never felt for my mom. Mm. And uh, honestly, even right now, I don't really think I have that connection. Like uh, I would love to have a seat with my mom, talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have that time. But uh, at the age of 17 is when I was like, uh, you know, when uh, you were in high school? Yeah. And then you see some beautiful parents came in. Yes, everyone, everyone's mom comes to visit them. Yes. Then the only, the only jungle that comes is my dad. Yeah. Very don't care. Mm. Because ah. Uh, Alikuwa na beba chapo kitu ama ni gazeti. Wapi? Mzai. Alikuwa kuja ni gazeti. Ni <laughs> gazeti ni 35 bob bro. Alikuwa anakuja na didi. Mzai alikuwa anakuja gatu peke yake. Salamu. Eh hey, na 51. Niambia 51 coffee. Na hii high school, school gani tuko? Uh, I was in Cardinal Otingo. I started with uh, of Fajerico. Mm-hmm. Then uh, there I won actually mm-hmm. an international uh, national trophy. Yeah. Yeah, public speaking. Oh nice. Then the sasa Cardinal Otunga can buy. Mm-hmm. It can put a full sponsorship. Okay. So uko ndio nenda kumalizia shule. Mm-hmm. But then hata kama uko na sponsorship, so mm-hmm. I was expecting jumza metolewa hizi vitu zingine. Mm-hmm. At least like one japa rua baby. 300 hapo ni pesa nzuri sana. Yeah, pocket Jali money. Jali kwa 50. Pocket money. Hiyo ni mingi sana. 50 okay. bob. Ini, which year is this? Ah, kitambo uko 2000 uko bwa. Mimi ni mtu mzima. Yeah, cuz okay, sawa. So I'm trying to 50 bob. Ndio kufikiria kama 50 bob ilikuwa anyway. No, it wasn't money. Mm. Because when achikima jangwa uko unapata ukipata thao hiyo mm. uko poa. Yeah. Kwa the three mbili. months za yes. shule eh. Wewe ni songo. Mm. Ukipata ofisini hapo mm. nakwambia lazima kwa washa mangoda, lazima uwe sweater. Ndio at least uko na kale ka upkeep. Mm. Sweater tuko na ushagana 15 bob, shati tuko na ushagana 10 bob. Mm. Troza um, ngoda kwanza ndio ilikuwa na pesa. So ulikuwa unatafuta ngoda uwe shangoda. Unaosha wa sei ngoda shule. Si ndio, ndio upati wewe mbao. So ukio shangoda 5 uko na so. Hiyo so ukiongeza jiwele 50 uko na 150. Fanki kifika, mazema demo alikuwa na galia gave nyoko na mfuko, si eti venye mengara. So hii sasa ni kwenda kubai makaimati ukiwa fanki. Yes. My God. So my dad was just that kind of a person. He was not so much into really supportive. Mm. Ile nye hata na feel kama when you zi hako na feel alikuwa tu. But he was lost as well because he lost his wife. He's left with two kids. It could it could break any man. But don't I mean, you think? No, I don't think so. Okay. You know he was a general for God's sake. Your father was in the army? Yes. So you don't give me excuses because even up to date mm-hmm. I'm not at work but he tells me that we don't work with excuses you okay. lose you raise you start take over Okay so the, uh, young Anthony in high school umengangana unosha mm. all kinds of clothes to keep up you leave school this is when now you want to meet mom Yes actually I was in form 3 at 17 I was in form 3 Okay and uh there was that urge very serious one mm. like I'm really I want to know how she looks mm. Uh, I remember there is a lady she was my history teacher yeah. though I hated the lesson mm-hmm. I never used to attend but she was a very good person Yeah uh we used to call them quasi parents in school mm-hmm. that they take over you they try they to mold you. you Yeah So this lady I asked her for 2000 she gave me 5000 Hey So in the uh, we used to, we call it midterm mm. by then mm. Now midterm I went home mm. because I was told she's somewhere there mm. So I went to the cousin mm. I found the cousin for the first time they were confusing me with my elder brother who is Philip. Mm. Actually they called me I tell them I'm not Philip I'm Anthony mm. but they keep on calling me Philip. <laughs> okay. Okay. So mm. I had three days. Mm. Then my my aunt now tells me that she was here just a day ago mm. and we have a number. Yeah. But that's good you have a number don't have a phone. Mm. So we have to find a phone somewhere. Mm-hmm. Write this number call and her. call. 
So I called my mom for the first time and she just asked Ninani. Mm. And I was like, Anthony. Anthony Nani? Mm-hmm. Anthony McLeod. McLeod in Nani? Ay, wait. Am I lost or what? Mm. Be a mtoto wako, mimi brother Philip. And then she was like, uh, ah, one 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 You're like, my son, my son, my son. Mm. I'm going to come. And I was like so much overexcited. Yeah. They even slaughtered chicken for me. Because mom is coming. Yes. Yeah. We waited. She said she would come around two. Mm. She was never there. Mm. And then I waited for the next day. She was never there. Yeah. The third day, she mm. was never there. And now, you know, I'm running out of time. Yeah. I you need have to, to go back school. to school. So the fourth day, she lied to me that I should go to town, mm-hmm. which is Kakamega town. Yeah. She's waiting me at somewhere we used to call it a uh, mobile. Mm-hmm. So I waited. I went there in the morning around nine. I was already there waiting for my mom. She never turned up. So I decided, uh, felt so bad. Yeah. I never even went home to tell my aunt that I'm that gone. That you haven't met her. What did you Just do? Just boarded a vehicle, mm. Shh, Nairobi. Since then, that mm. thing died. It just died with me. And any time I'm like, uh, you know, you're a challenge. It's, it's unfortunate when parents do not do their job. And sometimes we don't know the impact until we're much, much older. Because I know you have kids right now. Yeah, I have two boys. Yeah. And I bet, you know, they, they wonder whether a grandmother exists. They wonder whether, you know, that narrative <laughs> exists. All in your rasta. Uh, okay, what you Lisa? But uh, in case they ask, yeah, I don't think I want to side. I just tell them the truth, like uh, this happened, yeah, and this is how we are. Like you need to send a commercial shows, no, no, wow, because they also have their shows. I'm so glad that at least you have kids and you're willing to be in their lives because a lot of people, if was that Mzazi Moja Leondoka Ama Haku Wajibika, someone just steps away and they leave that life and i'm glad that you are of the narrative of protecting people protecting children you know i think it stems from somewhere and one of the things it stems from for you guys who don't know um anthony has served in the kdf for over seven eight years yep and i think it's one of the most commendable things ever army men are people who have put their lives on the line for us to protect us and especially in kenya i know sometimes you're called to work in other countries and yep. you told me off air that you were in Somalia for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that experience? Uh, experiences in the army, they are both uh, positive and negative. Were you ever on the battlefield? Because that's, that's my So many times. I even have bullet wounds. I wish I would have come with uh, shots. But some of my videos, people have seen the scars. You have bullet wounds on your leg? Yes, actually three. Mm-hmm. There is one here, there is two here. I almost lost my testicles in the field. No, no. I, I have them. But I almost. I'm very serious on this. Uh, sorry, Nimesh, to come back and go. How? Did, Ziko, wait, Ziko, how, go, tell, how? How? Uh, we stepped on a landmine. That was the first bad experience. And then, unfo- fortunately or unfortunately, the funniest thing that happened, my bigger brother, mm. he has given me, up to date, I have the Bible. Yeah. He gave me a very funny Bible on a, on a, when we are passing out. Mm. So he told me, this thing will protect you. And I'm not that kind of a person of that religious. Mm. I'm a God-fearing person, mm. but not the religious like I belong to this Denomination kind of, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I used to carry this Bible with me every time. Mm-hmm. So every time we have a mission, I used to open. I don't read. Just to keep busy and see if somebody's looking at me, you know. Mm. I'm like, ah. I just return it. Mm. Then there were, there were a number of Muslim guys mm. that used to really pray so serious. And I'm like, uh, these people make long prayers. You know, what's wrong with you? And then they pray several times yes. in the day. Yeah. For me, I used to tell God, mm. if I come back, I'll read the Bible. That's my prayer. That was my prayer. If you come back, I will read the Bible. From the landmines. Yes. From the war in Somalia. Anything. I'll read the Bible. That was my prayer. Okay. And people are like, Skulo Tacha, I'm chosen a mungu, bro. God will take you far. And I was like, why is God taking me far when I'm going to kill or get killed? You know? So my, mine was that. And uh, during this, the first landmine, actually there were two. Mm-hmm. The first one, everything was in the air. I woke up and I found myself so much. There is something like a, it's crying in your, deep in your head, like, Dee! and then there is some kind of darkness. And I find, I thought it was my friend who has put like the hand on my face like this. Yeah. So when I came to my senses, I realized actually it's a hand without the body. So things apart, everyone. 
Apart from who? Me and the driver. And now the driver, the, he had to be amputated. So you guys were driving through and the yep. car stepped on a landmine. Yes. Bodies are blowing up. And the funny thing, I am there intact and the blood on my face is not mine. Only a very small scar here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It looked big, mm, but it time. disappeared. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, looking at my Bible, intact. I, I felt like I should pray. I felt, no, I don't have time to pray. Just collect these body parts and wait for help. Mm. Because uh, when you're going out, if you're all attacked, mm. either you wait for help or you just die. But it depends on how serious the case is. Mm. So that was the first one. That was the most negative thing I almost, up to date, mm -hmm. I remember. Because it threw me into PTSD sometime. Yeah. Then I come back, I'm good. I go to job uh, to do my job every time. But it kept me going because uh, I, I used to believe, mm. like, every time I take a soul, yeah. I should be responsible for that soul. Every oh. time I lose a soul, mm. I should be responsible for that soul. Mm. So there was that push like, uh, mm. Allah for back off. Mm. It is always going forward and forward and forward. But this forward and forward, you don't realize you're losing it. Because eight years is a long time no, to no. almost lose your body parts, to see your friends amputated. Eight years is a long time to stick to it. Not really. It doesn't go away. Any soldier will tell you for free. Yeah. You, yes, you try. Mm. You try to forget. You try to focus on good things. But good things never come throughout. Because there are those times when you're alone. Mm -hmm. And you're just thinking of maybe positive things. I will grow. I'll do this. But you find yourself, you're still again coming back to the memories of the past. And they never go away. They never they're always here. That's why most of the time I advocate to say like, uh, if you have a KDF officer, mm -hmm. if you have a police officer, please try as much as possible to support these guys. Mm. Even just saying hi, ukofiti, broskwizi wongei, umepotea. Just time to time, wachokoze mm. chokoze. Yeah. If they decide to open up, like for me the first time I opened up, my dad cried. Oh. I told him what I had done. Mm -hmm. And he was like, in my 40 year experience, mm. I've never seen such. Because he was in the army himself. Yes. But he was never sent to the ground. Okay. So, okay, for me also, mm. it was, uh, it was, I think it's a gift. Okay. Because when I went there, I used to, unajua ile kurusha mawe? In fact, my, hii alama, ni ababu yangu kuniakea, inaituangwa shabaha. Kwa kilua tunaita isaba. What, what is it? Nyanini? That means that you have good aim. Ah, okay. So, so every time I aim something like that glass, if you gave me a stone, mm -hmm. and I tell you I will, I will drop it, it will drop. So you're a straight shooter? Very. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't Just discover way that. Down? Actually, I am. Okay. Up to date, uh, some soldiers, I even tell them when they come to my live on TikTok, mm -hmm. brought na kukumbuka. Because there was a competition between us and South Africa, mm -hmm. just like, uh, what do you call that? Program exchange. Yes, yes, yes. So they were the shooters who mm. were needed. Mm. And uh, I watched them, like, easy job. Okay. You know? So okay. I set the records, and uh, when they saw that, now they took me mm -hmm. for special training. Yeah. Now to be a sniper. Mm. So that is what I was very good at. But there is something that I did to date. I can't talk it on media. Mm. It really eats into me. What happened? It's an order. I was given an order. We were in Somali. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, the problem with these guys from Somali, mm -hmm. they don't realize how serious... It is in wars. They take it like a, I, ma, I can die, I must die, something of sort, you know? Okay. So this was a young boy, I think, in between the age of 12, 15. That's very young. That's a teenager. Yep. Yeah. And I was told to take the shot. Why? Because apparently, with the intel, he was carrying, a, he was a self-bomber. So I was like, Oh, okay. I'm in between. And you can tell that this is a very young boy. Yeah. But because they've been wamefunzo akiwa dog, I'm so sorry. Wamefunzo akiwa dog was sana that this is the life that they need to live. So, yep. And there was so much pressure on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I said, ah, I'll do it. No, don't do it. Do it. No, don't do it. Do and it, this, do it. And you have to follow orders. You have no choice. Now the problem is you have no choice, but later on when you are alone, that's when you, d you realize that actually nothing could have happened. You, should, you could have just been fired, but nobody's ready to be fired. Mm. Because you look at, uh, in the army there is something that uh, 
everyone must experience. Yes. You find just one ka person. Mm-hmm. That ka person of yours becomes more than your wife, mm. more than your father or mother. They are the closest persons you always think like we should talk to. Undo rafiki. Undo beshti. Yeah. Like I used to have my friend called Mutunga. Mm. This guy was okay, he died in my arms. Oh, May so rest in peace. Yeah. This guy was everything. Mm. Unajua kale ka siri Kenya wezi ambia mtu. Yeah. He used to know. And I used to know kasi Kenya jaya ambia mtu. Mm. So that is what army gave me. Like you can actually rely on people. It gave you brothers. Brothers and sisters that unawapigia ukiwa kwa ngori, but hata sisi upatikana kwa ngori. Eh. Hakuna at uniform. Mm. Patikana kwa ngori unapigia msia na kwambia ah ngoja na jua mkubwa fulani hiyo utatoka tu. Because uh, kulingana na job tulikuwa tunafanya singe avoid pombe. Mm. Hata nikitaka ku avoid yeah. nilikuwa nasikia tu inaniita. Cuz it's one of the ways to just forget to have some sleep, not even to forget to have some sleep a little bit. Okay. Just a uh, 2 hours sleep is okay. Mm. So I used to be a friend of Pombe. Mm. I used to I used to do drugs, let me tell you. Okay. Because uh I couldn't handle the memories. Mm. I go to therapies, we stay there. After 6 months I'm okay, very okay. I go on missions. I come back again. It's worse than the previous Because one. Because you've gone to mission and yep. one more time someone's life has been I I went around uh I think the serious ones that I can remember they were around four. This is when I four saw missions. yes. This And is in those four missions do you know how many people passed away? Do you do you I have them in my tattoos. I have them in my tattoos around 75 175 people. 175 people. Yes. And uh that's when you hear government saying that we've lost 10. That 10 probably add another zero. It's because you don't want to create panic. Mm-hmm. in Kenya yeah. and again you don't want to create some kind of winning from the other side yeah. and you don't want your soldiers also to feel like eh, if i give up on this i won't die mm. so you want that morale to be there that's why most of the time you will never be told the real numbers mm. of the officers who have lost their lives mm. and even their families are warned not to go out on media ranting uh, this happened you But will never hear doing it now what's going to happen okay if you do that usheski mtu anaambia utapotea Okay. There are no jokes about that because you don't want to create fear within the country. That's you don't true. want to show the loopholes. Every army has its own loopholes. Yeah. But you don't want to you bring your best foot forward, right? That's true. So that's that's what happens. And uh every time you go there uh, you know you have three bullets. Okay, you're always seven. Mm. So 21 gun salute. Mm. Three bullets every time it reminds you. Every time it keeps on ringing. Mm. So sometime back I I lost I lost it like everything. Yeah. Because I remember when was this? You lost everything. You lost a home, phones, what did you lose? Everyone, my friends. Tulikuwa tulikuwa how many were we? Tulikuwa troop ya watu 17 plus our commander. All of them. Yes, all of them. And then I go home. Away. Yes. I go home. I have to attend 17 battles and I'm the one who is alive only. So that thing used to eat into me like yani hata nikienda tu niseme leo. Mm ni shoot to anyhow mtu ajue niko hapa mm. they don't shoot at me they don't but my friends every time they are fried i go home they are fried i go home and i don't know how i used to escape you know mm. so this used to eat into me so much mm. and i'm trying to like i want to communicate mm-hmm. but now people don't get to understand like uh, you have so much on your shoulders yeah. so much in your head mm-hmm. they just think you're okay kitu nyenye ukirudi anaje bro ni jenge kitu bana machupa zianguke So mimi naenda na chafu wa meza, mm. sisi tunachafua juu nataka. Yeah. Nataka tu nisikie ukibonga hivyo. No kuwa na company. Yes, mm. just to try to forget, but it never used to work. Because at the last time I almost turned on my crew. Because we were in the field and then there is the my helicopter, there is the marisasi everywhere unasikia papa papa. Kwanza usiku unaonanga risasi kipita. Ushaona shooting star. Yeah. That's how it actually kukiwa na giza, huwa yeah. zinawaka. Bullets huwa zinawaka, huwa zinawaka red. Nonaga vitu zinapita red orange. So looking at that I I think that's when I lost it. I just lost it and then I turned on everyone. Yani it is just lucky someone was next to me akanipin chini because I thought they are behind me. Oh. They are after me. So there are voices that come in, a lot of noises. When they realized that they just uh, you know chained me. Mm-hmm. And then they continued I was returned home. Mm-hmm. I went to therapy classes kuna kadao na dungo na tulia. But after kurudi poa si kurudi poa kabisa. It's like something in me left. How old were you when you went to I joined war? when I was uh when I was 19. Actually I was going 20, That's but I was 19. That's a very young man. 
but very big body and big headed. But still a young man. You don't see that. You don't see that. Actually, the first life you take, any police, any officer will tell you, mm. it calls you to take another life. Any person you kill for the first time. Mm -hmm. That's why you find serial killers. Mm. They can tell you like, uh, okay, not many people will trust this or believe them, yeah. but they'll tell you, I didn't want to. But I just found that I should do. One more time. That's what happens. It's like you've tested food and you feel it's good and it's not yet served, so mm. you go back to Sufuria and try again. Say, yeah, this is the last one. So it kept on coming. When do we go? When do we go? In fact, I used to Hongana sometime. Mm -hmm. To just go back to Somalia? Yes, I have to go back. I have to do something. Mm. And it was too much, you know? Yeah. But I was never seeing too much. I was seeing fun. Now, I'm going to think about it. Just how... Yeah, like, where I had the to cut, I won't lie. It can be very impactful for someone to have PTSD and have to go through this. Do you feel like it has affected you having relationships outside of military? Very. Yeah. Because it, for me now to fit in, to talk like the way I'm talking to you, yeah. it took me almost six years. We're just to try and blend in. It was very difficult because uh, for one, you feel like uh, singi achishwa kazi. I'm still fit. Yes, shabai kopale kila kitu iko sawa. Mm. But akili yako ni unstable. That is the problem. So when I was uh, forced early retire, mm -hmm. um, and I, I felt so bad. You felt betrayed? Yes. And in fact, I started hunting for everyone who was involved in my retirement. I, I hunted them down. I think I just didn't have the right tools. But if I had the tools, mm -hmm. I was going to get a story. Where? I was going to get a story with my team. You were angry at them for making you retire, but yes. now you see it, you needed to retire. For me, I had not avenged my friends. Ah, okay. I needed to die in the field, just like any other person, and mm -hmm. be given that respectable burial. Mm -hmm. Not kukuja mta. Mm. But even still, having spared your life and having, because you were protecting your friends either way and in a battlefield. You don't see that. Yeah, at the time. You don't. Yeah. You just want to be with them. Mm -hmm. If it's going, we go together. Mm. If it is remaining, at least everybody goes home and sees their family. Yeah. So we uko hapo, mm. uko na pension yako, uko na family yako. Mm. Familia zao, zina kublame. By that, there is a burial I attended. Uh, the lady attacked me so much. Because she, Why? Okay, the husband was my friend. Oh, she felt like you would have done better. Yes. And unajua bulete kikuja If true. it was me, it, I would have gone. Mm. If it was him, it was him. But I also felt the guilt of like I should have done something, which I don't know what I would have done to date. Mm. But I always feel like uh, if, it, if it was me, he would have just done the same thing, not to leave my body behind. I never left you carried him and went with him. Yes. You know what, I the feel, I, I tell you this, as a fellow Kenyan, I think you did the best you could. I tried. Yes, you, you did the best you could. Not even tried, you did the best you could. In any situation, you, because people will tell you, oh, you could have done better. No, that decision you made at that time was the right one. It made sense at that time. So that's, those are some of the moments which you really used to eat into me. Yeah. Because now you see you are rejected mm. from both sides, mm. from the community that should accept you, you've done your best. Because you did, you were helping them. Yes. Yeah. But they don't see that. Now, also the other side of the work, mm. guys have gone. You left behind. So it took me lots and lots of time to like really pick up again mm -hmm. and uh, be who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Because uh, I remember there is one father who was in the army, mm -hmm. and this guy just told me like a joke, mm. like uh, every time I come and pray with you, mm. I just feel like I'm praying for the body. The soul is gone. Why don't you? Play with children. Mm. Play with what do you mean play with children? Kumbe alikuwa na another father when I'm mm. a shule a Catholic church. Mm. So I can be a So I I tried the first one month and I felt like this is not my place. Okay. When I was almost like I saying tomorrow I'll not go. Mm. I receive a call. Mm -hmm. Like you're supposed to be here, kuna watu mekuja, metoka kwa army. Eh, kusikia army? Because that's your first love. Yes. <laughs> I found that the guys are there and they are teaching. And I'm like, how are they teaching? With like, what they've British. gone through. Yeah, they were British. Eh. So, this was all organized for me. I never knew. So mm. I was like there. I'm just looking at the boys. I'm training the football. And I'm like, who are these guys? Ani, 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 ma sponsor, wa shule, ya. 
kumbe ni ami tu kama they are real like yeah. so about uh, sanane hapo kutoka merudi class mm. that's when i was called in the office mm. then i was told uh, these are your guys we really need to like you know congratulate you we know what you've done oh, wow. the level of put kenya and yeah. stuff and i was like how did you know me how did you know my service number mm. all these things now they started coming back and yeah. they told me that there is a reason as to why i had to leave mm. and that is the most honorable thing <laughs> i look would, at you, uh, you still know, angry at them and <laughs> i was like <laughs> what honor in this mm. but uh, they talked to me over and over they kept on making calls and i started shooting in yeah until now when i was asked would you like to go to to school to learn how to teach it was like Ay. okay yes but yeah. uh, just as an apple of food mm. and upon any uh, my pension i have squandered everything pombe yeah. plus medicines i have nothing yeah zero mm. so when uh, nika patoe chance why not i took the opportunity very fast mm. went to school mm. became a teacher then again kwa limo nika realize kuna shida nyingi hata kuliko kwa masoja kwa nini teachers do not like if especially if you're young yeah and you're good at what you do mm-hmm. they don't like you Why? Walimu hakuna watu wako na wivu kama walimu ishu. Lakini hiyo naonanga kama ni colonial mindset. I don't think walimu wanafaa kwa na hiyo hasira. It's petty. Mm. But you know me, okay, I uh, I used to have my principles. Yes, you're a teacher, but mm. there are things you can't do. Mm. You know, like kuibia watoto vitu kama to food. These things do happen. <laughs> Naibia mtoto chakula. Sikudanganyi. Kuibia watoto maziwa, unaambia watoto walete sadaka kutakuwa Sunday, unapata wa mwalimu ameiba sadaka. I used to see these things. Kai. But You know when you are looking at them doing these things mm. and you don't talk mm. they think like uh, they have that kafia you might set them up mm. but for me is as long as nobody has complained mm. up to date mm. i will never bother anyone but Good. if people complain mm. you become now my my case because it's very wrong to do that to yep. kids so there was a little bit of that jealousy or uh, i don't know whether to call it envy mm. because i was so much focused into teaching and i'm like uh, I want to be the best. I want to try and be something different. Mm. And actually it uh it ripped fruits because mm. there was a parent who just came from nowhere mm-hmm. and asked for tchamaka kwapi and I was given a laptop of uh I think it was worth 70,000 mm-hmm. Adele. Yeah. Up to date that laptop I look at it and I'm like did I really just for this? being a good teacher. Just for being a good teacher. So and you're yeah. teaching uh you're teaching what level? I started with class 8. Mhm. Then I came to kindergarten. Ah, okay. and kindergarten was the best. I still love those moments because uh yes I left, mm. but I love those moments so much because I used to see children who are very funny. Mm. Somebody has done <laughs> you wrong, you are so much mad, you want to fight, you fight, you go to an extent. Mm. And then the next minute you see these two guys are like nothing ever happened. Yeah. So that really healed me so much and that is the purpose why I was taken to school. It's really nice. Cause... Like There is wrongs that have been done to you mm-hmm. but you just have to let go it's the easiest way I think that's why even the the good book tells us most of the time we should have we should be like children they're very moldable they're very open very clean very and I want to mumble mob I left that place with with a kid's heart yeah. if you do me wrong mm. if i tell you it's over mm. trust me it's over yeah it's done. Ile, no so. memories nothing to mess up mm. iko fit Yeah. Mm. Just like recently people pulled down my YouTube channel. Oh yes. That guy I still have his contact. Mm. I have his number. Mm-hmm. We talked and I told him, you know I looked at you and you're like my dad. Mm. Your age doesn't allow you to do that. But I forgive you. Mm. He was like, "Ah oh, bro, I'm really sorry and really overreact and stuff. It's okay." Makosa shatendeka. Shatendeka. You have you had a YouTube channel. How much followers did how many followers did you have at the time? Uh was going to 48,000. Oh so now you do you have to start again or you can recover it? I already started a week ago and I'm at 9000 as you speak. Oh that's nice. Yep, but uh I felt very bad. Yeah. And again you know some of these things when they do mm. they push you like so many years back. Mm. Because the first thing I thought was like I know who has done this. Mm. I actually hacked into his phone using his own number because I also have some friends. Mm in my shadows yeah that i tell them i have this number i really like to look at this guy mm. and i was like ah i'm australia so but what when you find now you are i realized kuna wengine wako ruiru yeah very close what to talk around yes i was like uh, i can make a few calls mm. and get the tools and just wipe up this shit you know but no. but i was like alafu 
You know that alafu question is very important. Mm. Because yes you've done. Mm-hmm. Kama ya ame, amefanya. Mm. But the reality remains the same. Yeah. You can't change it. Truth yes. is truth. So I like we brona kuheshimu hii maisha. I will not go on media and start calling my people to pull your channels down. Yeah. But jo tu menkosea but you can clear up this. Mm. Tuko fiti. I attended one of his lives on TikTok mm-hmm. and I told guys, "Hey, msiko mnachukua vitu serious hivi." Yeah. Sasa zingine mtoto akikosea, mzazi ufai kumkata susu. Mm. Nugget. Yeah. Na mchapa kofi naomba stop. But yeye nyuko kuja mnaangusha channel za say just because mna um, film ulianiko. Ama mko na disagreement. Yes. And, and it was actually a difference of our opinion. We just differed on opinions, you know? Wait, an opinion and not just at Kate no. alifanya kitu truth alifanya kitu not really we differed on opinions it's so like sad give people mm-hmm. advice mm. and i'm i'm like hearing each and every word and then i tell you here and here mm. hey bro you you're losing it you're misleading people that got my channel pulled down Where? so they formed a whatsapp group of around uh, so many people mm. and now the most hurting thing is they were all older than me na wote wanaangalia kijana kina mama zetu kina baba zetu <laughs> kijana mchanga wende mpull down yes that's why i'm saying and i'm saying to youth right now mm. old people in kenya are not the best to look for advice from oh. please try with your best friends try with these youngins they might give you a better advice than these old people why they're the ones who are wame kaka hii dunia wanajua mambo mengi wanajua lakini mm. wanajua sana kutu mislead mm. you get it because under tiktok mm. utapata a woman of 40 years mm-hmm. amevaka dress kama fika hapa mm. ati ati ni kuonyesha ni 10 bob ni kuonyesha ni 100 bob join tiktok kuanzia saa 8 mm-hmm. make sure unaingia tu lives ukiscroll sana 2 am yes yeah up to hata saa zingine wanaanza kama mapema unaweza pata wameanza maybe 4 a uh, 3 hapo wanauza wanauza maku kunyongeshana we kuingizana ma vidole excuse me is happening i'm serious <laughs> If you think it's a joke yeah just try and see i have exposed these things well, also but see it should be flagged by the nini i don't know what is wrong with tiktok like i tell you for free mm. there is an agenda that is bigger than than africa than kenya mm. and it is being pushed so much mm-hmm. if you check uh, for example tiktok mm. utaona wana suggest hapo uangalie watu sim tu wenye mm. mnaitanga lg fg mm. cre mm. those ones yeah why is it suggesting you should search for that and you've never searched for such Why is it even pushing the you know, agenda, agenda too much? Um, even the network for timeline so, company, yeah. Yep, you find that it's supported on all platforms. Mm. And all this is aimed at Africa. Mm. And why is it aimed at Africa? They have introduced a perfume mm. if you're a man. Yeah. If they spray you. Uh-huh. You feel like you're a woman. Ah? I'll be releasing the video. Okay. Is it like in auzwa tayari? I use it. Mm-hmm. Izo vitu azita uzo zikiuzo mtanunua. Mm. Imagine a man sasa umeanza ku feel like unataka kushikwa shiku unataka ku exactly that's what I mean. Na hata wamekamba kama rainbow. Okay. You get? Mm. So these attacks it's because we just realize ourselves like eh hey, manze mimi ni mwanaume bro. But naweza kumeko kwa mwanamke. Mm. Just spray this kunywa pombe and then uh, there is money. Na hiyo agenda imekuwa sana kwanza cuz unajua with with alcohol or with drugs e agenda ingine ya tunaweza jaribu kitu imekuwa sana so at unajua umeona ile story ilikuwa kwa social media sasa ime happen yote ni venye ilitokea mtu yeye alikuwa out na ase siji si mtu ikajaribiwa siji amejiangusha si uko ile amejiangusha na see the first time to risk a story guys yep. hata kwa high schools it happen so much even some teachers mm do introduce this to children Where? especially but you know we have one problem in kenya mm. we don't have serious women who are going against this if you check mm. most of us ranting out here is men you know if you had put it like this you're a lady mm. speak to these ladies like seriously mm. and come out speaking it throwing fire yeah i am a man mm. i speak to these young men throwing fire mm. It's it's now it, it it's like a, men are the ones who are sh- supposed to step up and talk about this. You know if ladies are not talking about this and by the way you tell these other ladies like when you are supposed to tell them like hapo hey hapa hi ya. Heri heri kuliko hii. Hapa kuna kidole, si ndio? Eh. Ama dildo. Hii kidole iko na bon ndani. Mhm. Ile kitu kingine naanga bon naiko sawa it is just pressure <laughs> blood flow Wait. and now it's steady mm. job inafanyika 
wewe unaingiza vidole uko kwa nini mbona haikuwekwa bon kuna ma doctors wame turn wrong mm-hmm. na kuna ma doctors hata watakuwa advice you have to go no more mm-hmm. nothing like that wewe unajua ni shortcut unakata because you will also find uh, for example i have a muslim friend yeah whom to li... okay i didn't like to do this but yeah. he asked me to hack the a mother in law's phone mm-hmm. and we be listening to the talks so, between the the mother and the girl and the wife okay now we overheard the lady now the old lady mm-hmm. telling the wife you cannot accept to go the normal way mm-hmm. because if you go the normal way mm-hmm. you will actually be a loose woman and as a muslim they will look for another wife so you insist on cs the guy ended up spending 280000 Where? But the good thing is we had heard this. Mm. So he knew this was not natural. Mm. It was because of the pressure from the mother-in-law. Yeah. It does happen. But what people don't realize is that the vaginal muscles are not the same as the anal. Yeah. It yeah, always very comes flexible. back. <laughs> yeah, they are flexible, mm. but they always come back. Hakuna yeah. gadi mtaro. Kama hakuna de mtaro, wewe ndio unachimba. I love tena sa zingine, you know with there are a lot of factors I, i'm a lady i can tell you there are a lot of factors that cause sometimes there are even illness they're called vaginal illness it happens over time and then remember this is a is an object of wear and tear of course it will not be the same as it was you it know a, a 50 year old woman and a 18 year old woman are definitely different you know not that we're encouraging for put to go for younger people but with that ndio inafaa kukuwa na a lot of grace also for men not to push their gender that women are loose but that life happens you know what i mean okay, and excuse me 18 i lose more than 50 okay so so gay for guy boy he and to sasa unajua hata kama hii inaitwa point of view hii yako point of view mo kweli lakini enyo watoto sikuizo wameatibika kidogo it's a little bit crazy it's sad but i'm glad that you're always coming out and speaking about it you're always quick to protect uh, children do you have yeah. a boy and a girl or do you have only girls or only boys i have two boys two boys Yes. Tafta kadim. Tafta <laughs> wachavta. Ama, ama tu <laughs> But, so mm. it's 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 a sad state yeah. that really you see for example I keep on watching TikTok people are making money off TikTok not mm. in Kenya let nobody tell you I made 2 million lies ah uh. lies pure lies show <laughs> Show us of course if you for example mm. if i came here mm. and you gave me money mm. or you send me money yeah there It's is that evidence. transaction yeah show me the 2 million mm. i made 2 million you know on tiktok <laughs> lies i'm telling you for free mm. nobody makes that money in kenya yeah but there are people who make lots and lots of money on tiktok tiktok every time you find a woman of your age she's selling stuff mm. and she's even packing you say that you want you pay agenda zat kuja ununue hii takusaidia yep. ukue una hapa ni wangapi ni very few mm. very few are taking this platform seriously mm. and they are using it to their advantage but ladies have realized tiktok unajua watu ni wengi eh napatanga followers eh hey, mimi niko na followers wangapi niko na 250k eh 250k wanafanyanga eh wana ni gift ingi unajua nilikuwa kwa show ya someone alafu nikaona na gift mi pia nikaanza you find there is a very You know my face usually mm. this is an example of an ugly person. <laughs> no, a very not ugly, ugly DJ. <laughs> yeah. Asking girls to twerk. Eh? Wana twerk na mangoda. Mm. Unapata dema mvangoda ya white. Mm. Amesahau walikula sijui ni ndizi ni matoke ama ni nini. Wewe. Ngoda ni yellow. Na bado na twerk pale. Serious ladies b- oh, not babies. I'm not talking about babies. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about old ladies. So they are twerking and then after twerking they are very fast to come back and look at the screen. Nimepatiwa gift, nimepatiwa gift and then they go back talking. They go back talking. You go there you tell them, are you even serious? You get a block. Mm. Because I don't know whether it's depression, I don't know whether people are running away from reality mm. or they just want shortcut to get money. People want shortcuts. The easiest but, way to make money people will go for it. But it will kill you. Mm. Do you know how disrespectful it is? For example, unatafuta job hapa. Mm. And then somebody from nowhere goes to Telegram. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, we are sorry. You know, we would really love to give you this job, but uh are you on TikTok? Oh. Uh, is this you? Um, you know, the integrity of our job doesn't allow this. Watu wangapi wamepoteza job ya mapesa because NGOs. Of, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't really need to entertain this. Yeah. And it's unfortunate you find that young men are so much yearning mm-hmm. for these older women. Mhm. Eh hey, mami hapo ni ngapi? Ruabe anatuma. 
Eh nikuja lini ninyongeshe? Oh, yeah. But the way what talk nyongesha ni thousands. You should go to my YouTube channel, Truth mm-hmm. Watchdog Official. Mm-hmm. I have posted them. And I I times look back and look at maybe these ladies are doing the right thing. Because maybe. wana shiba I'm talking of hundreds of men mm. asking how much sangapi sangapi and you know if people are advocating for this then TikTok also has no choice but to give them what they're asking for because they're giving them the views and as an app one and they're views. liking they're tapping they're rating so freedom which is not freedom it's mm. slavery you know okay. you're depending on gifts you're depending on people unajua unajua zawadi you ni msaada hata si zawadi tuwezi ita msaada ile ni msaada because you're doing something to be given something mm. a gift should come free without any conditions right yeah. so we, 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 when when slave you have enslaved yourself here and they don't they don't see it like that and it's so sad that uh, i'm thinking in maybe two to three years to come mm-hmm. if this continues mm. or is not regulated by the government mm. we will lose so many young people mm. because Actually TikTok in afar ibaniwe if you're not 25 and above don't be on TikTok wait 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 don't be on TikTok <laughs> because TikTok gives you every ipan age limit ata kipana age limit serious. kuna VPN my friend people use VPNs mm. they'll still access that information so it it should be strict like any child before the age of 25 mm. you access TikTok no before Kukuyata. 25 you're still a child You still a baby my oui. friend hapa ndio enjoy life sasa una kula life nzuri <laughs> una experience huko nje natural mm. so imagine mtu yamaanza kunyongeshwa at 16 eh si possible na in my inbox i have a i have a young man who is around 26 mhm aniambia alianza kunyonga akiwa 12 years oi 12 years baza mimi kwa nanuka na shonde zifai ngoda ama footballer hiyo inaribu akili ya mtu sasa yako 27 mm. aniambia nimeshindwa kuacha What do you think I told him? Mm. Umeshindwa kuacha? Mm. Ama unafikiria umeshindwa kuacha? Mm. Bro, mimi nimeshindwa kuacha. <laughs> Basi usiwache. Nyonga kabisa. Why? Because you started this thing at an early age. Mm. You know very well you're doing the wrong thing. Yeah. And you're telling me you're addicted to an emotion, something that you feel just good for few seconds, the next minute you are regretting what you've done. Mm. Let me tell you nishawa nyonga. Mm. But this is how it comes. Once umenyonga, una feeling kikarilif kadogo unasikia poa sana then you start regretting i swear so i'm telling you this you feel so bad uh-huh. you feel left out yeah and you start being over protective mm. unaona gani kama watu wako against you and even withdrawn and things yes. like that yeah and then you become offensive tutakana wase na kama mtu unaona unampima mwili unaona unaza twanga utasikia unapiga wase so all of these things you know that mm. unasema yes lakini umeshindwa kuacha mm. ujashindwa kuacha uja decide nikutaka utaki yes yeah. so i usually tell them ah uh, wewe wewe fanya nakusa kusaidia ni bro nataka mtu hii mm. siku moja mm. unataka wife yeah imagine wewe wife wako ni baba nakumwangia hiyo ni mbaya bro manzi hiyo hii inaweza so now you want to mangana <laughs> when it goes eh no no when it goes is no it's true <laughs> It's just an example. Yes, you want to have a lady. Mm. You have one. Mm. You can't do anything. Then work on what you have. So start now by saying mm. I'm getting out of uh, porn sites. Mm-hmm. I will not go to that uh, nyongeshering sites uh, TikTok. Mm. And I'll keep myself busy. I'll go to the gym. If I'm not in the gym, I'll watch movies. If I'm not watching movies, at least I'll have some buddies around me. Yeah. Just occupy your mind with other things. And with that unakuwa fit. Mm-hmm. Na utarudi tu poa normally aweze rudi atikesho sasa ati utasatisfy mwanamke z it will take time just like it has taken you time to be mistreating this kind of thing of yours yeah. you get yeah. ata madem wa, they have the problem mm. wasa madildo na mafinga mm. unasikianga oh ni kwa dry sana na feel uchungu lazima nitumie gel and stuff don't think that tomorrow sasa jumeacha leo yeah. atutakuwa wetu hakuna lazima you must pay you have to take time yes everything that you do it has the negative side and the positive side but you have to weigh can i stand the negative aspect of it if i can't mm. then why take the risk no mm. because as a business person you told uh, you have to learn to do risk management mm-hmm. but if the risks are so much yeah. you don't even start that business because you know that you might you might not at a higher rate not why see okay. after another option i'm glad you're talking to young people about this because it's such an agenda um 
I think I'll have to connect you with someone. Kuna mtu anaendanga kwa high schools kuangalisha watu hii. Connect, connect, connect. It is a No, it's really good because wengine labda wanatumia religion ku push. Wewe hata upush na religion na push tu as an agenda achana nayo. Yep. Aside from religion, aside from everything else, achana nayo. And you scientific know? aspect of it. Yeah. That And I think good. sometimes people need that perspective. Unajua ukikuja kuongea mambo ya Mungu, mm. atiko Biblia verse fulani nasema, uh. ule ni Muislamu. Yeah. Na labda ata naye ana feel kaka ni sema muangusha. Yes. So what wako na Una different nini wewe? <laughs> na anaweza kwa mejam. Like kidogo kitu bina penda like, every time you watch Truth Watch Dog on his TikTok, he's always cautioning us on what is happening in town. Tunakwambia eh yeah. by the way wezi wanaiba hivi. <laughs> didi 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 ndakwambia ta maybe sasa ngine nikitembea taona kwa ngani kijichunga. Lakini pia anazaleta propaganda ka juzi ameonekana na manyama fulani. Anatembea hii town. <laughs> na ni mambo ya maandamano. <laughs> I want to understand one thing because people are always like are you an investigative journalist are you, are, do you work with the government people are confused about what you do because sometimes you come with so much information and then sometimes you're you're giving out serious solid information but then it's like who is this person you know swali that is the beauty of life <laughs> a person is supposed to be a question mm. because imagine mm. i realize you are kid mm-hmm. You have nini this is what you do yeah what will be more interesting for me to know you nothing yeah but if i just know that actually i see her but who is she where are the babies where is the husband where is the car where... that remains a question that you become a very close friend of mine yeah because i am leaving a question you don't leave an answer mm. if you leave an answer you're dead gone but now you should, then people are like where are you getting this information from in the first uh, place i work with everyone okay and uh, i work with her. actually i say the environment mm. gives me the information mm. you just need to know where to look you know for example if i uh, if i want to know how you steal mm-hmm. i need to be that good either if you're using computer i know the scam uh, the scam styles that you're using yeah the attacks that you are actually launching mm. so i have to train you and try to know how to scam people and even scam for you mm. so once i've realized this is how you scam yeah. i'll come back and tell kenyans where huko ni moto i will not say that i saw you scamming people mm. but i'll tell people this yeah stop this this is how it happens sometimes even with the government and uh, officers mm. some of them even come live on tiktok tell me bro toka kwanza live kuna kitu nataka kuambia haraka haraka mm. you know like him and amano ulikuwa hapa somebody came and told me hey niaje bro maze haraka haraka hivi wasome muagwa uko na msana toka home nikasema no mm. uko na unaweza kuwa na shughuli yote side nyingine uh, ya nini ya tao no mm. au uko fit basi but comes yako na kama si kama msinyo amemwaga mbaya mm. mbaya mbaya and i'm like when ah bro eh, cheza chini ya ma cheza chini ya maji so when i get this kind of information mm. you need to find out the truth about it mm. so that's when i now because it can just be someone anakupasha yes. soro haiko jaba so what i do is i call my friends mm in the government uh-huh. and ask them hey bro nimesikia kama kitu kama haka ni kweli any confirmation if if we go with you to kiambu here yeah. these year offices mm. you you might think i am working there <laughs> i'm serious yeah they start greeting me from the from the doors yeah. then yaje bro unafanya ngaje job poa unafanya ngaje job poa mzee mm. hey wewe uko suit hey i was greeted by the way i was taken there by a doctor there is a doctor who went to report me mm, because, to the dci yes because? i exposed him He stole 5 5 million from Kenyans. Yes, he raised money mm. that was supposed to 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 treat a patient outside mm. the country. Mm. But he never did that. Mm. He only used 700,000 mm. and then the rest of the money just disappeared. Hiyo ni mingi sana amekula. See? Mm. So when I exposed him, Jua Konado, mm. he thought he could uh, silence me. Ah. So mimi napigiwa na wakubwa at eh hey, niaje? By the way lazima kuja andikisha statement. So me hey, I like my statement I like my I hate my fingers being taken I hate <laughs> But now you have to go I have to go mm. So when I went there from the gate Yeah I didn't know that these guys know me mm. because I don't even comment on their pages yeah. I don't Ay 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 truth Unafanya nini hapo wewe Umekuja kushtakiwa Unatonikaga wewe I'm like hey bro mimi si wako na nini But like when I go office mm. at the niende niende kisha statement mm. they just looked at me and they told me we want to see the video mm. and I showed them yeah. they show, they asked me do you have any evidence of this because mm. mazee inaweza kuweka mbaya yeah kwa sababu ni mambo ya pesa yes and i think that guy had also paid some kind of money yeah. and i'm like uh, hmm? 
Okay, so to watch an onyesha video, look one make unlisted mm. because this guy tried to threaten me with lawyers, mm. so I did not pull the video down. But when you're in Kambia, watch the video. Can mm. and then we called actually the victims. Mm -hmm. After calling the, the victims about mm. uh, what really transpired, yeah, they said it as it is, and mm. they said they are also coming to write the statement. Mm. Do you know what happened? Yeah, Charlie led. Well, let a child to Kakunyo child to Kazakuya. They used to reach Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh so the thing gosh. is, uh, I work with anyone yeah. who brings information mm. that will help Kenyans. Mm. At the end of the day, the goal is Chanua mm. Kenya. You see, akuna kitu mzuri kama kuibiwa na uliambiwa. You always blame mtu. Usinisumbue. But sasa unaibia, unaibia mtu innocent. Yes, mtu wa metoka mjengo. Iyo 500 unaona ni kidogo. Mm. Kwa ke ni 5,000. Inasaidia. Una get? Mm. So this an informed person. Mm. That is what I want. Once I get you, mm -hmm. I tell you this is what is happening. Yeah. The decision now lies with you. Unajua kuna tuwapenda kuibiwa by the way. Yeah. I think. Lakini, so mtu wa nachuzi tu kuibiwa. Ivi venye unendelea naona kama utakuwa mtu ma, wa maandamano. Unajua we've seen unajua tumona akina Boniface Mwangi, Epilo Lumumba. Even ni wananzanga lafu na kutapo kwa streets ato una protest ima kwa government. Ama una protest any crimes happening. No, awa jai kwa kwa wajai, wajai learn one tactic. Mm. They, are, they are fights. Mm -hmm. Very many fights. Yeah. But the method you use to fight that fight mm -hmm. is key. Mm. For you either to win or lose it. Mm. You see? So, kaa kuna fight enye na jua kiongozi flani ya na mislidu wa sepani flani. Yeah. Uli ya kuna pesa bana. Uli ya tanitia watu wata nifinya. Araka, araka. Ni <laughs> so, mtu kama uwezi muendea direct, yeah. ama kuenda kuran tuko nje. Mm. Just my calls. Jua mwenye unajua, upia ni mzito kivi yake, mm. but anafanya vitu the right way. Yeah. So, mwambia, eh, there is this that is happening, mm. and uh, I don't know, maybe you look into it. Izo ndo barua. TZ, mm. uh, this guy recognized me. TZ, a whole of TZ. Wow. The issue that took place in Tanzania, they were sharing videos of uh, small boys who have sodomized each other. Oh, no. Chiniyamaji. Mm. Because you might be fired. Uh, uh, under eight children. Yes, 11 years, that four years. Just are very young. So, when this video reached me, mm. actually it did not come from Tanzania. Mm. It came from US. Mm. And somebody asked me, did you look into this? And mm. I'm like, what? Let me look at it. And then it's a video of young boys doing this stuff mm. and teachers are afraid. And now I realize there is a book that is called A Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Mm -hmm. It's actually the one advocating for it and teaching children to do stuff. To bully one another and just be... Yes, yeah. actually, sexually. Yeah. And I'm like... I've watched the movie, uh, The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Maybe yeah. the book and the movie are different, but mostly you see a lot of bullying in the movie. No, the book itself, mm. actually, it teaches children to do this stuff. It also tells you, like, you were born in the wrong body. Mm. How do you tell me I'm born in no, the wrong no, body? No, that's a, okay. You're really misleading small children. Mtoto amezaliwa kwa na mkono hivi. Na amesoma hii book. Afanya nini kuhusu mkono? Hata jipenda. You might be born in the wrong body. These books and I'm like who wrote this stuff? Mm. It's all about akakashimo na akakijiti. Mm. I'm like ah hii imenipatia content. Mm. I went there. I don't know whether I smoked or not. Mm -hmm. I ranted. I called out on the whole of TZ government. Mm. I mentioned the names. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the following day. Yeah. Those books in the whole of libraries in Tanzania, they were pulled down and they were banned. That's really good. And now... That's effective. The government is coming out and mm -hmm. saying that actually you find these people you arrest. Recently there was a Mzungu that has been there for eight years mm. who has been recruiting boys by using the kinds of perfumes I'm telling you the video I'll be releasing. Mm -hmm. He was arrested. Now, the government has taken it so seriously. Yeah. Because if now you are targeting toddlers, mm. children in school, you don't get to tell me love is love. This is not love is love. You know? We? So. Ojan takuwa na mtu LGBTQ hapa na atakuja kuongea mambo ya kelegini. In a to a point of view, so. No, you should bring them. In fact, if you have them, we, we have a constructive, yes, we have a constructive discussion okay yeah agree to disagree mm. you give me your facts mm -hmm. of love is love mm. and i listen mm -hmm. and then i digest them mm. and i give you facts of this kind of love is not love yeah and you tell me if i'm wrong i'll accept if you're right well <laughs> another thing based on the same mm -hmm. uh these men yeah 
Okay? Mm. These men, you'll find that most of them, they do have families, beautiful wives, beautiful children. Oh, yes. God. Yes, recognized even quite society. But you're there, yeah. looking into the digested matter, waste product of Kidiri, Mokimo, mm. that you're having fun. Mm. So you find that these guys, they're out there to destroy, not their own. It's true. It's there, There's something really wrong with the society. We're, we're pushing the wrong yep. agendas. And yep. it's really, really scary to see that. But what's what's next for Truth Watchdog? You have a new YouTube channel. What's next? I want to know. Yes, kindly, guys, follow me to <laughs> Truth Watchdog Official. Yeah. It's our new channel. It's around 9,000 mm. subs. Mm. Uh, yes. My target is 100,000. Amen. If I'll be targeting, if, if, for example, that 100,000 subscribers, mm. I'll be educating only 6,000. That's enough. Ah. Kenya will change. Yeah. You don't need politics. You need you need the truth mm. on the ground. Mm. So I'm not stopping mm -hmm. anytime soon. Yeah. And I thank God that actually there are people who are coming on board. Yeah. Very very, you know. I don't I don't want favors. Mm. I want to work for my money. Okay. So I have seen people who are coming through. I don't want favors. I just want you to subscribe. It's simple as that. Just subscribe. Because mm. nobody was born with money, pap. Yeah. Unless you're inheriting, which is stupid. Mm. You know? Work for yours. Mm. So I'm so happy that I have the government support on this. Yeah. And then I have the Maraya. Mm. Mm. By the way. Kama me thugs who wanna protect. Imagine. Where? Thugs will steal from you mm -hmm. and they will protect me. These guys are just want to be very thankful to Kenyans. Alafu Matheki pia nawapenda mbaya lakini ndawanika simnajua Rosafi tu. Simnajua tunanga ka feeling. Eh hii ni kuisema tu. Ni balance. Etwa ka balance tu. You need a you need a netwanga jo mtu intermediate mm. intermediary yeah. mnahitaji hiyo mtu so i am that person mm. i tell the youth hapa nikunoma mm. i tell the people hapa nikunoma sana yeah. don't do this usiende maandamano kama ujimbio usiende maandamano kama mko saidia sita mm. usiende maandamano kama bibi yako ako na mimi kama uko na nini ya sita kama mko wa sita kama mko wa sita like oh, six people like you have to be six people to go for maandamano yes okay if you are alone mm. <laughs> you are a target of the boys there, mm. I'm telling you, boys do not. By the way, my shop is mefungwa. Mm. Mingi sana. Vijana mefunga job. Unauzia nani? Hakuna do. Mm. So what do they do? They come to Mandamano and they love it. Because customers wata come. Mm. Utawacha simu, utawacha ndala, utawacha do. So be very careful. If you're not six, please, just don't go for Mandamano. Don't, don't go alone. Yeah, so let us just stick to Truth Watchdog and continue. Well, Misha, I'm going to story in the But I really, like, I really like hearing your story. It's so refreshing to see Thank the you. evolution from army to father to teacher to now Truth Watchdog. It's really, really good. And remember, this only happens when you join in on the POV podcast. Remember to stream it live on Boomplay, both on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Catch you next episode. Bye.